open up a little space here for you to get on in. Why, thank you. Yeah, you know, I don't want to take up all of the dance floor here. <laughs> Welcome. We're back. It's a Southern California Comics weekly video update. I'm not calling it the Sundown Rundown. Otherwise what known as the Sundown Rundown. It is integral to the whole fabric of the show now. Uh, either way, I'm Danny. <laughs> I'm Rob. And we're going to tell you about the latest comics of the week. Yes, What's we are. up? What you got? What I got? What you want to talk about? Love, man. What I got? I don't oh, know where that came from. I'm people sorry. who live in California. I know. I don't even like it. So why? Well, at least there's that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I've got is The Infinite Loop, a new IDW title that, before we talk about what it's about, Danny has a little fun story to share about it. Yes, I actually worked with the artist on a comic once. Oh, oh, is that all you're going to say? Yes. Is that all you're going to say involved, about said comic? It involves a, a man having sex with an alien lizard queen. Hmm. Not in this comic, Not but in, in the one com, we did. But in the one that you did. <laughs> Look for that maybe next year. <laughs> but I can see why, out of all of the artists in the world, you would have this artist do that. I imagine she rendered it elegantly. Oh, it's great. Uh, I don't think I've seen it in color yet, but this is in color. But this is in color, yes. and it's the Infinite Loop, yes. and it's IDW, yes. and it's written by Pierre Colinet. That's a great name. Oh yeah, French people. That is a beautiful name. And that's, that's, that's all I had to say on it. <laughs> well, that's more in... It's a, it's a science fiction comic. That's good. Adventure stuff. Oh, yes. I don't know much about it, but I'm reading it on principle because it sounds awesome. And the art is beautiful. The art is great. Elsa Charitier. Mm -hmm. French. 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 Again, French. French. How do you say no to French people? You say no with an N at the end. Right. And but you shouldn't say non but everyone to understands. the infinite loop. That's just some bad taste. Poor etiquette. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to segue. Uh, another IDW comic is Miami Vice Remix number two. Number two. I think we still have number one, but either way, you should read it, no matter what number it is, because it's uh, Joe Casey and Jim Mafood doing a uh, kind of weird psychedelic play off of Miami Vice. Uh, this is in collaboration with Lionforge Comics, which actually has the... Uh, has the the Miami Vice license. Oh. And uh, yeah, they have, a, they have a regular Miami Vice comic, which who cares, but yeah, because Miami Vice Remix is the weird version. It's not nearly as stylish as this. Look it's at insane. That. It has it has zombos, but it's not not just a zombo comic. There just happen to be zombos. Yes. It's weird. Your it's daily good. allotment of zombos. You can't go wrong with Joe Casey and Jim Mafood, the creative team behind uh, Marijuana Man, if you remember that. <laughs> It was made by Ziggy Marley? Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> Just great stuff. I love Joe Casey's comics, and we'll read anything he does, especially if it's a Miami Vice comic. On principle, I'm not doing a segue either. Apparently, it's no segue day. No segues. On the sundown rundown. Oh, I hate it. That's right. So much. So nice. So, next, we've got Invisible Republic. Image. Now... The easiest way I can sell you on this comic, which is written by Gabriel Hardman and Karina Vechko and drawn by Gabriel Hardman, which I love. I just love when writers are also the artists. I think it's just phenomenal. Like, good on you for having all of those talents. I bet you're a real great person. Either way, the easiest way I can sell you on it, especially with all this Daredevil hype, is if you appreciate that sort of Ben Urich street level, siege embedded, seeing how events played out through the eyes of a reporter style story, you're gonna like Invisible Republic. Oh snap! Yeah. If you like Daredevil, you like Invisible Republic. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I said. Or that's what what I'm saying now. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> that's what you agreed with. Well, you were extrapolating. Yes, from yes. Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. IDW got that sweet, sweet Disney license, mm. even though Marvel is owned by Disney. Um. But IDW is putting out the actual Disney character comics, including Uncle Scrooge. Which, oh, really? Is that what's going on? Yes. Oh. This is, what, 48 pages? This is a ton of pages for three ninety nine. The price of your average superhero comic. Without nearly as much Uncle Duck. Uncle Duck. Uncle, Uncle Duck. <laughs> like, it's got all your favorites. Uncle Duck, Nephew Duck, Nephew Duck, Nephew Duck. Family Duck. Criminal Dog. And a Criminal Dog, by the way, has a robot. That looks like Criminal Dog. That looks so. like Criminal Dog. 
We got some kaiju action in here. It's got everything. <laughs> you you got to get on this Uncle Scrooge train. It's by a bunch of Italian people. Wow. That's where they got these comics from, from Italy. So you should check that out because Uncle Scrooge is dope. Is Uncle Scrooge supposed to be Italian? No, they just have Italian people who make those comics oh. also. That's it. I was going to say, Uncle Scrooge doesn't use enough uh, hand motions to be Italian. Oh, he sort of does wink motions. That's true. He's he is often angry. Yeah. Not, not that Italians are angry. Just that hand hmm. motions. Oh, dear. Digging myself a hole. Let's dig out of this hole with Beyond Belief, a new image title. I think there's a bunch of people who were working on this, and I believe it's a collection of stories. I'm just going to say that because I don't really know. No, it's one story <laughs> written by Ben Acker and Ben Blacker, the creative team who's also working on uh, King Flash Gordon and you named something. Nevada Sparks. Nevada Sparks. They're the right. creative team behind the podcast, The Thrilling Adventure Hour, which is a popular podcast. Hmm. You can imagine what that kind of podcast mm. is, just based on the title. The Thrilling Adventure Hour presents Beyond Belief. Yeah. I could have read three more words and I would have known that. Yeah, it's like a comedy podcast, sort of serialized adventure thing. But I don't think it's strictly serialized, so... Hmm. You don't really need to listen to the podcast to read the comic. You just gotta like comics, I suppose. But I would imagine that the same sort of uh, content, humor, and... Yeah, pulpiness. You know, is what's applied here. Yeah. Uh, I can tell just from opening it up, it definitely has a very kind of ghosted, hexed, goners type feel, supernatural, people dealing with the supernatural in a not horror style or in a straight, you know, Ghostbusters style, but in more of a, this is average everyday life. The supernatural is here. We do with it what we must. Do we talk about the artist? Do we talk about the artist? The artist by Phil Hester. We should talk about Phil Hester. I believe I showed you some pages, but let's see some more pages because Phil Hester is... Pretty good. He's pretty great. Hey, speaking of Phil Hester, he's right. also working on another comic coming out from Image pretty soon, Mythic. So look forward to that. Oh, that's what that said? That is, yeah. I thought, that, I thought that said Prince. Anyway, <laughs> Captera is the important Image comic of the week. Sorry, everybody else. This is by Chip Zdarsky of Sex Criminals mm -hmm. and Kagan McLeod, who did Infinite Kung Fu, which is a dope comic. Card Captura Sakura? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Anyway, this is basically described by the creators as Gay Saga, yeah. which is all you need to know. Which is so delightful. And it's going to be hilarious. And also, the art is amazing. It Check is that amazing. Out. No, you are not reading Odyssey. You are looking at Captara. And this seems especially prudent, uh, giving the... Oh, do you know about the reveal in uh, All-New X-Men number 40? I heard. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't feature that, but... Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Y'all got the internet. You, you know look already. it up. All-New X-Men number issue. 40. Iceman reveals what we all knew about Iceman. Yeah, that's why he's always giving ladies a cold shoulder. Snap. Snap. That's dope. Yeah. You know what else is dope? What else is dope? Our next segment. Boom. In which we're going to talk about more of these things. Oh. Uh. Comic books. Transition. Go. He is that close to just greatness. We could all be the guy not wearing pajamas if we wanted to. We could. But too often, we're the guy in pajamas. In pajamas with a tiny base on stage. That's deep as hell, though. Yeah. What else is deep as hell? Convergence, it's back. We took a break last week to we discuss did. Daredevil, an awesome show, Very almost important. done with it. You probably finished, right? No. Well, at least I'm not alone. Yeah. Um, Convergence is DC's, we're moving across the country to Burbank, so we decided to have a bunch of freelancers make a crossover and harken back to the old 52, the pre-Flashpoint era of Detective Comics Comics. Glory days. Yeah. At this point, you start playing that song by Bruce Springsteen. Which one? Glory days. Oh, it's called Glory Days. Yeah, pass me by, glory days. Okay. I thought you were thinking of Boys of Summer, which is not by uh, that guy. No. It's by some other guy. It is. <laughs> Brian Adams. Or it is indeed. Some dude. Someone else. Anyway, you know what's as old as Bruce Springsteen? What is? <laughs> the Legion of Superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is written by Stuart Moore, mm. who I could not tell you a single thing about. But the art is by this guy named Gus Storms. He's got a pretty cool style, and Pat Brousseau's coloring gives it a nice pastel look. Mm -hmm. So if you missed the Legion of Superheroes, 
who I don't believe have a comic book anymore. No, they do not. Yeah, crazy. Unworthy. You need, they need, we needed a break from the Legion. Let someone who cares do it. So yeah, Legion is back for a brief period. Art's really nice. Ooh, some sparks are flying between a, a Superman and Electric Lady. I'm not gonna remember their names. Not important. Yeah. Electric Lady is just as good as whatever her name Lightning actually Lass. is. Lightning Lass. Way better. Way better. That's very true. Uh, speaking of old teams, just old, old teams. Wow, look at Nightwing's costume. It's great. The new Teen Titans. Look at Lo. Look at his costume. Look at that. I see it. It's great. Look at that V. You, you bite your tongue. I believe. I, you, be, you believe in this Nightwing costume? I believe. It's, it's so, like, it's so acrobat. Literally everything about this issue embodies this period of Teen Titans. It's written by Marv Wolfman. Ah. It's drawn by Nicholas Scott. It's, it's almost as if they had drawn this comic years ago, <laughs> put it aside, and then realized that they could repurpose it <laughs> specifically for Convergence. Hey, Nicholas Scott was good. No, I love Nicholas Scott. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 no, whoa. I meant no disrespect. Okay. None whatsoever. <laughs> Simply that, it's a very classic setup. It probably is an old Marvel script, though. Let's be honest. I would not doubt it. And Nightwing is in that god awful lot. But, more Donna Troy. Ah. And literally, the more Donna Troy, the better. You a fan of the, the Troy? <sighs> I just. Donna Troy will always be the most important Wonder Woman in my life. <sighs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I need a moment. So uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, Convergence, the Green Lantern Corps, number one. This is by uh, Dave Gallagher and Steve Ellis, I think, is the artist. They're the creative team behind that Winter Guard comic from Marvel, Russian superhero junk, and also uh, High Moon, the Western werewolf comic. Where are you pulling this from? How do you know that? I, I pay attention, man. Good on you. Yeah. You don't remember Zuda comics, but I do. Now I'm getting called out on <laughs> camera. <laughs> this is, it's my job. It is your job. It actually isn't my job, but uh, people seem to have regarded this one very popularly online. That's a really weird way of saying that. But, but entirely people, true. People seem to like this one, so you should check it out. I liked it. Yeah? Yeah. I like... I was about to say I like Guy Gardner, but that is a loaded statement. Um, I love Guy Gardner. What a great character. What a <laughs> beautiful character development. Really? Especially that warrior phase. Realest guy in the game, Guy Gardner. So hard. Ain't nobody real. Ball so hard, nobody can catch him. But speaking of Green Lantern, as oh, if hey. one title wasn't enough, we've got two. This one actually came out last week, Green Lantern Parallax. And as opposed to this one, which features a very normal Hal Jordan dealing with very normal problems like being a recluse and crazy, this one deals with, oh, the exact same thing, only he's also infected by Parallax. I still don't, I still don't buy that explanation of Parallax, for being honest. You know what? But here's the thing. First off, this comic is written by Tony Bedard and oh. is penciled by Ron Wagner. That's the first thing. <laughs> okay. What? What's the second thing? The second thing is that if if Jeff Johns hadn't retconned the Hal Jordan going crazy, going gray, murdering his friends, and then destroying the core. I, I feel as if we would never have a Hal Jordan comic ever again. I agree. It'd be great. Okay. Dude. That's the run down. Shots. Sun down, run down. Right. I gotta go. All right. More important things. Hawkman. Hawkman. Jeff Parker. Always fun. Tim Truman. One of the great Hawkman artists, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did Hawkworld. Very good. Oh, yeah. yeah I think you're right. Yeah. This is going to be one of your better bets in the Convergence line. Wait, anything written by Jeff Parker is usually a very, very solid choice for picking up. Yeah, they just announced that he's uh, taking over Justice League United. I'm so excited. Yeah. I mean, I love Jeff Lemire, another Jeff. What? Too many Jeffs. Passing the torch. <laughs> Too many Bryans. Too many Jasons. Jason Aaron. Oh. Uh, Jason Latour. Uh, oh, and they team up, so. All the time. mad confusing. Yeah, the Jasons. They're actually just... Too many Jasons. Two-headed, like... Cerberus type beast. Speaking of beasts. Speaking of beasts. Actually, one more? speaking of beasts, I do have oh. one more. Whoops. Uh, I've got Convergence Wonder Woman, which I won't lie. 
aside from knowing that it's written by Larry Hama, 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 and drawn by Josh Middleton. Josh Middleton, Beast Mode Incarnate. The reason I had to highlight this this week is because if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that The Golden Girls is one of my favorite shows. But if there's another thing you should know about me, it's that one of the very first graphic novels I ever read was Batman Red Rain, where Batman has already been bitten by Dracula, I believe, is a vampire and is struggling with his thirst. This involves that universe <laughs> and Wonder Woman. <laughs> Uh, That's incredible. Yeah, it, it is incredible. Faved on principle. <laughs> <laughs> you just you owe it to yourself to experience something like that once in your life. You know what else you need to experience? Yes. Free comic book day. I lied it's about happening segues. again. It's happening. We were saving all our segue powers for this moment. <laughs> Free comic book day is Saturday, May second, mm -hmm. the day right after Avengers: Age of Ultron comes out. So you so, will still be riding that high, yeah, right out of the movie theater, right through the day, into the next day. You know what? Why don't you let off some of that steam with other people who care? Yes, and we're not just going to be giving out the official free comic book day comics. Oh no, no, no! We're gonna we're gonna be giving out some random single issues we don't want to keep in the store anymore. Important things. Yes, we're going to have live music. We're going to have shaved ice. Shaved ice. What's more important than shaved ice? We're going to have, what else? Food trucks. Food trucks. Uh, we're going to have our boy Danny here. Yes, I will With be, his own table. I'll have a table. I'll be selling my comics. Mm -hmm. His beautiful masterpieces. He'll even be doing a little filming. Up, uh, yes. A uh, little video camera -ing. You know, invading your privacy. Yes. Um, what else? Jamie won't admit it, but if you ask him, he might grant you immortality. I heard about that. <laughs> We'll have uh, dealers selling things that aren't comics. That's true. And probably one of the most exciting things is there will be maybe more than one Batmobile parked outside for you to probably not touch but get close enough to try to touch. You'll certainly be allowed to take a picture in front of it. Yes. Or near it. Somewhere around it. Yes. And, uh... Just next door is the Society Brewing Company. Yeah. So get a little beer. Get your trick on. Get, get your trick on. And then get your comic on. Miss, Mr. Mr. Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you should come to Free Comic Book Day because it's going to be great. Yeah, and we'll be here. We'll be here. So okay. say hi. We're kind of like celebrities. We'll almost. fist bump, high five, whatever you wish. You, that, maybe one of these? Oh, I don't I know. love those, yeah. Like, like arm bars? Yeah. yeah. You c this could be us. Yeah, just input yourself instead of one of us. So come to Free Comic Book Day. It will be so much fun. So much fun. We'll really be stoked to see you. It's just a ball. And, you know, we can't really under over or undersell. We can't over or undersell how awesome it is to see other people, you know, who've got the same passion who come in. And, like, you people who are new to the comics, you know what I mean? Especially with, you know, many people coming into the field from Avengers and the movies, stuff like that. Yeah. They're finally coming to Bring see your friends. Bring your friends. You know, they're finally seeing where it kind of started, and so, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a glorious moment. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> so, we'll see you next week. We'll see you next week? And then, you'll see us every comic book day. Yes, you will. I know you're going, so. Be there, or be there. There's no choice. There's no choice. Sorry. Toodles. <laughs>